Okay, so let's get started with the first topic, which is why HubSpot? So there are three key reasons why you would like to use HubSpot. And those reasons are to start conversations, to deepen relationships, and to manage your pipeline. Start conversations essentially means that you can use HubSpot to send out cold emails and thereby trying to generate leads. Or if you have generated leads using an alternate mechanism, say you have generated leads using LinkedIn or by cold calling people, then you could add those contacts back into HubSpot so that you know how many leads you have generated, you know when to follow up with these leads, so on and so forth. So these are the two primary ways in which you can use HubSpot to either generate a lead right from HubSpot or at least keep track of a lead once you have started the conversation from an alternate tool. The second reason why you would like to use HubSpot is to deepen relationships. What this really means is that you would like to have multiple conversations in different ways, maybe via emails, via calls, uh, uh, via, via sharing some sort of informative content. And the intent over here is for you to be in constant touch with your lead to, to improvise your top of the mind recall value in your lead's mind so that the lead is constantly aware that given the nature of his problem, you are one of the potential uh, vendors or partners who can help him solve that problem. The other way you can look at deepening relationships is that a business is ultimately done only when a lead trusts that you will be able to solve his problem. And in order to do that, it's of extreme importance that you genuinely understand where your lead is coming from, what is the problem point that is trying to solve, and can your product suite really help him in overcoming his difficulties, right? So, so to do that, it's essential to talk to your lead multiple times to define the problem statement as precisely as one could, and then see that where do synergies exist between the problem statement that your lead wants to solve and the product suite that you have. So in order to arrive at this point, it's essential for you to converse with your lead multiple times to understand the user journeys, to understand the edge cases, uh, to understand the timelines, the budget, so on and so forth. And therefore, you would use HubSpot as a tool to be in constant touch with your leads. That is, you would like to send regular emails, you would like to follow up by doing calls regularly, or you might want to do that by sending different forms of marketing content. It could be an, an informative content, it could be uh, uh, some sort of an offer which which gives them the product at a very, very reasonable price, so on and so forth. HubSpot helps you in deepening these relationships in the way that it you can you can set uh, preset emails that should go, you can you can set scheduled emails that can go, uh, you can have different sorts of reminders put for yourself wherein uh, if there has been any lead with whom you have not done any sort of activity, be it a call or an email or a meeting, say for the last seven days, then HubSpot kind of warns you that it's now time that you that you that you uh, try to stay in touch with this particular lead. So there are various ways in which HubSpot kind of preempts you to stay in touch with your leads, and and that is how you deepen your relationships with your leads. Finally, you would use HubSpot to manage your pipeline. A pipeline is nothing but different formal stages that you have in moving a deal right from opening a conversation till the deal closure, and these different stages could be say uh, if you have completed the presentation of your product of your, or if you have demonstrated your product, that's probably the first stage. The second stage could be that you have completed the product demonstration, you have understood what the problem point of your lead is and therefore you are offering a POC or a proof of concept wherein your lead can try out the product by himself, can get his hands dirty and understand and, and can understand the value that your product precisely provides. So that could be the second stage where you're trying to draw in the lead into your product. The third stage could be a stage where you are sure that the decision maker has been bought in and this is a stage that can be uh, that can be looked at once the POC has been done successfully and say the fourth stage could be wherein you're sending your contracts, you're sending your NDAs, so you're basically getting done your legal paperwork done and, and therefore you can then go live from that point onwards. So these are the different formal stages that you can have uh, as you move a sale right from uh, the first conversion till the till the deal closure and these are the stages that we will see in greater detail as we move forward today. But, but that's how you manage a pipeline and HubSpot again gives you a very, very uh, intuitive and visual view of, uh, of, of looking at how many deals are there in each of these uh, different stages of the pipeline and that helps you in understanding that where you should be spending most of your time or if you want to adjust your hiring requirements according to that, then that's a, that's a way to look at it as well. So these are a few reasons why you would really try to look, uh, these are the few reasons why you would use HubSpot. Now with that said, let's move on to the second segment, which is understanding of the three core concepts in HubSpot. 